You clicked on the video, right? Hello and welcome to the Speed Reads. So you saw the thumbnail, you read the title, and you clicked on the video, and you're wondering what the hell is shutter speed? Well, worry no more, because I am going to help you out and try to explain to you what shutter speed is. This is going to be my assistant for the day. This is my own camera. It's a Canon M50, and it's an amazing entry-level camera, and it's a mirrorless. So cameras work the same way a human eye does. We see things by whatever light they reflect to us, and so does a camera. The camera creates images and photos when the sensor absorbs light that is being reflected off of subjects that you are shooting. I'm going to take off the lens off of my camera so you can have a better look at what a sensor looks like. This is the sensor of the camera, a square thingy, obviously. Now, when it absorbs enough light, it can create an image of whatever light has been reflected off of the subjects. You control the result image of whatever you're shooting by controlling light. To help us achieve the best results when it comes to photography, we need to learn how to use control and bend light. For that, we use a guide that is called the exposure triangle, and it consists of three things. It consists of shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. This triangle helps us control the outcome of our image and each one of these three parts controls light in a different way. Shutter speed is how long or the duration that you allow light to go into the camera and onto the sensor. Naturally, the more you allow light to go in, the brighter your image will be. The less time you allow light to go into the camera and onto the sensor, the darker your image will be. Now, the second thing that shutter speed affects, as we said earlier, is motion. If you're trying to take a photo of a fast moving subject, let's say for example a car, and you're using high shutter, let's say for example 1 over 400, chances are the car is gonna look like it's standing still. You will look at the wheels and you will see no motion in them whatsoever. Take the same photo of the same car in the same scene, but using lower shutter speed, let's say for example 1 over 80, you will see some motion blur. Take a look at the wheels again. Again. This time you will see that the wheels have a bit of motion in them and a bit of blurriness and that gives it a more natural look. This can be used in many ways but be careful how you use it because sometimes if you use too low of a shutter speed if you're trying to take photos of fast moving subjects your subject will completely disappear. Let's say you're walking in the wilderness and you spot a unicorn and you grab your camera real quick because you want to take a photo of it before it escapes. Because if you just tell your friends and family, they'll think that you're hallucinating because you ate a bunch of wild mushrooms since you're walking in the wilderness and nobody's gonna believe you. So you take that photo real quick and then you realize that your shutter speed is low. It's 1 over 60. And all you see in the photo is this white smudge that barely looks like a unicorn. Looks nothing like a unicorn actually. In such a scenario, you need to bump up your shutter speed to make sure that you can take a detailed and clear picture of that moving subject. The unicorn is back. You take out your camera and this time your shutter speed is high. So you take that photo and you get a clean detailed shot only to find out that it wasn't a unicorn it was a mountain goat with a really long horn. So shutter speed can help you create the photo that you're looking for by manipulating light and motion as we mentioned and come out with amazing results. I want to thank my friend Safe for helping me out with the renders to make the explanation better. I will leave his social media links down in the description alongside my, my own social media. And thank you very much for your support. So the next time a friend of yours asks what the hell is shutter speed, you can just send them a video of this link. A link of this video that anyways till the next time thanks for watching